Hell yeah, man, they said if we hit our number, bro, we get to go home early, so, um, my fuck need to do their part, bro, for real, I'm ready to go, shit. What time is this, bro, let me see what time it is. Yeah, bro, it's only 10, bro, we got 10 more hours to go, bro. This, this was me, Monday through Friday, bro. Scanning damn boxes, bro. Eight hours. I was doing that for eight hours, bro. I was not signing up for no overtime. No, I don't want to do no overtime. I needed that time to work on myself. Now, this video is very overdue. I quit my job a while ago. I just didn't bring it to YouTube. You know, I don't be thinking people be caring about my personal life or what I, be got, what I got going on outside of trade. I don't be thinking people be caring. But people been requesting, like, bro, where you at? Like, did you ever quit your job? I didn't quit my job. So, let's just go through the whole story, how I got to this point. Um, this might be a long video because it's going to be stuff I'm going to be breaking up before I even got into trading. So, I'm born and raised in Detroit, Michigan. Um, I graduated from high school and I went to Western Michigan University, right? Um, I was there to study graphic design now i know y'all probably like why would you study graphic design you couldn't do that without college man i went to school to get away from home you know what i'm saying my environment was toxic as fuck and i couldn't go to school in detroit you know what i'm saying i had to get away from home so that that could have been a costly decision but i was young i just wanted to just get away so i went to school for graphic design and you know i'm, I'm taking my regular classes i'm thinking everything it's gonna work out. I'm thinking that that's what I want to do, and that's not really what I wanted to do. Okay, so I get to my third year in college, and um, I don't really know what happened, but I do know this: I read Rich Dad Poor Dad, right? I read that book, and I'm like, they is not setting me up to be my own my own boss. They is not setting me up to um not listen to nobody they set me up to be a worker you know what i'm saying and i was going to school to work for myself anyway because i didn't like when i went to, when i first went off to school i did not want to work for nobody i just didn't know what route to go i just knew i didn't want to do that shit. so i already had the entrepreneur mindset coming out of high school i just didn't know what to do okay so once i read rich that poor dad it opened up my mind bro it opened up my mind to like you really wasted your time. I already wasted three years of my time. So it just like, okay, you and your junior year, are you sure you really want to do this? So I'm at like the, the spring semester of my junior year and I just realized I'm taking bullshit classes that got nothing to do with my degree. I'm barely doing anything hands on as far as the computers. I'm taking weight training. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm, I'm taking classes that got absolutely nothing to do with graphic design. So I was getting pissed off. And then, and then I started to notice that the teachers was just, we, I'm, I'm learning stuff that don't have nothing to do with anything in the real world or credit. You know what I'm saying? Like invest in nothing. It's just obey, follow instructions. That's it. And I'm just like, you know what? I just stopped showing up. I stopped showing up to class. And I know that's not, I don't recommend nobody to just stop doing that, but I knew in my heart and soul I didn't want to do this. So I'm just like, you know what, I'm about to stop going. I didn't tell my parents or nothing. I just stopped going to class. And I started turning up. I'm going to be honest. I started turning up. And um, once I, so I end up having like, I end up like having bad grades at the spring semester. And um, I went back for my fourth year. And that's when I really was like, I'm done with this shit. Okay, so uh, when I got to my fourth year of college, I didn't buy my books. I didn't go show up to none of my classes. I, my counselors were hitting me up. I just stopped completely because I knew that I didn't want to do this. Now, um, so I initially did not um, start with Forex. 
like far as my entrepreneur journey and stuff. Um, I started with dropshipping. I started with dropshipping. I was uh, I was uh, selling female clothes on Shopify, and uh, I got a couple of sales. Like, I, and I didn't know nothing about dropshipping. I just took a chance, watched some YouTube videos, and I got a couple of sales. I'm like, dang, this is cool. But I wasn't motivated because I'm not really into e-commerce like that. I'm not really. And that just wasn't my cup of tea, so I stopped, which I shouldn't have. But again, when you starting off your entrepreneur journey, you don't really know what you want to do. You know what I'm saying? So um, then uh, I did. I, I made a YouTube channel. I had a YouTube channel way before this channel. Um, it had like four thousand subscribers. Uh, it was a reaction channel. I. It was a funny, a funny channel. Um, I met a lot of people on there on that channel. But uh, yeah, that ended up being dead because of um, a copyright issue because I was reacting to music and y'all know how music go when it comes to YouTube so they kept like taking videos down and all that so I had to stop with that channel but I, I missed that channel because that channel was really funny I might have to make a second channel because I like you know what I'm saying I like YouTube but um okay so after I made YouTube and I kept getting copyrighted and they started taking videos and all of that I stopped now I'm at that point I'm already dropped out of school Okay, so now I'm like, what am I doing? You know what I'm saying? What am I doing? I, I, I try drop shipping and I quit that. Try YouTube, kept running into issues. What next? And then I ran into iMarkets Live. <laughs> I ran into iMarkets Live, IML, IM Academy, whatever you want to call it. And y'all know how that went. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't want to keep talking about IM Academy. I don't even care about the company anymore or people that's a part of it. I don't care. Y'all know the story. If you don't watch my IML videos, you know why. So after I got out of IML, um, I started searching to like you know get really educated as far as really learning the markets, okay. And um, let's just fast forward like a year, a year after I left um, IML. So as I'm building my account up, um, I'm realizing that I need to start throwing more money into my account. So this is what I did. I had like a, a weekly, a weekly amount that I throw in as far as my job. So I throw in three hundred dollars every week, or I throw in two hundred, or if I if I do some overtime, I might throw in four hundred. But I was throwing in large, large amounts every week. Now during that time, I didn't have a lot of bills, so I could be able to throw that amount in. So um, once I got my account to five figures, I don't like talking about my business, but once I got my account to five figures. I knew like okay if I can maintain this five-figure account I could be able to quit my job now I did the, the um the harder route a lot of people try to get funded FTMO funding talent five percenters all of that they try to get funded and then they throw it into their real account I did it the harder way a lot of y'all been requesting me take the challenge take the challenge I'm like I don't want to you know what I'm saying like, I really like really didn't want to I wanted to grow up myself I want to withdraw when I want to because I was making withdrawals like you know what I'm saying if I needed something boom take it out of my account win a trade get it right back like I wanted to I wanted it to be my capital you know so I didn't want to wait um, a month or so to make a withdrawal I just wanted I wanted it to be my money I like everybody don't need to take these funding um, I mean these challenges they don't you don't have to if you don't want to so I grew my um, capital just from me working my job and trading okay so once my account got large enough where I really, really felt comfortable, that's when I quit my job. I quit it, and I'm kind of mad because I, um, I wanted to ma uh, make a scene at my job and like like cuss everybody out and like record and all that. I wanted to be ignorant, I'm gonna be honest. I wanted to be ignorant, but I didn't. I just clocked out that day, and that was, that was it. That was it, man. Um, that's basically my story, man. Um, that's why on the title it say forex trader and entrepreneur because I am an entrepreneur. I'm not just a forex trader. I have other stuff going on that I'm working on. So um, for people that work nine to five, I know your pain, bro. I know your pain, man. I know you got this vest on. Most of y'all are working in factories, man. I, my family, I was born into a factory, bro. My mom, my dad, they all worked the factory, bro. I'm from Detroit, bro. Like, come on, like we. GM General Motors like that's all I knew you know what I'm saying so it's just me even going to college was a big step me dropping out was a big step me trying to be an entrepreneur was a huge step you know what I'm saying so 
Um, if you working a job, bro, and you feeling like depressed and like, man, will this shit ever end? It's going in if you keep grinding. You know what I'm saying? I was throwing in a lot of money in my trading account every week. Like some weeks I like I have to eat ramen noodles, throw it in my account. Like I was willing to do whatever it takes for my account to get bigger. Now again, you could take the challenges and pass it and do that. Yeah, you could do that if you want to. I didn't want to do that. So it's all about what route you want to take, man. It's no rules to get into success. Real talk. It's no rules. It's just what you feel in your heart, which way you should go. Um, yeah, at work, man, I don't care how hard life get. I'm not going back to no job. I, I would do I would do DoorDash. I would do Uber. I would do something besides going back, putting this on, bro. Because this brought me so much stress, bro. Hearing those sounds and those beeping sounds and all of that. I'm waking up hearing forklifts and shit. Bro, listen, bro. That shit is traumatizing. And I and I don't even want to imagine when people be trying to retire in these places all crippled and all. it's it's just factories, it's just people don't understand. They they really breaking your body down. But um, I really hope y'all enjoyed this video. I hope this video was inspiring, man. Um keep working towards your goals, man. That's all I can say. Keep working towards it because eventually it's gonna pay off. Whatever you want to get out of trading or just an entrepreneur journey in general, if you keep working, it's gonna it's gonna pay off. It's going to pay out, bro. But you gotta put in the work. And don't put a timing on when I should be successful. Don't do that because I was doing that. I'm like, man, okay, maybe in a year from now I'll be good. I'll be able to quit my job. Nope. I'm still up in there. Scanning little boxes, putting it over there, listen to these annoying coworkers every damn day. Listen to my boss who I did not like every day. Monday through Friday. Oh, and I wanna say this. I was working second shift. I was working second shift, so I was training in the morning, and I go to work in the afternoon. So, um, like I said, it's all about what you're willing to sacrifice. A lot of people can't do second shift, but they got kids, they got stuff they got to do in the afternoon. I don't. So, I'm like, you know what? I want to trade a session that I want to trade, and then I go to work right after. And that's what I did until my account got big enough. So, um, that's all I got to say, man. I hope this really helps somebody that's really... In these, man, cause I'm, bro, I know your pain, man. I know your pain. I, I, I'm probably the only person on YouTube that know about factory working because that's what I did, and that shit is not fun, bro. But that's all I got. Peace and love. I'm out.